Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm checking out the web interface for the Linksys EA7500. Now, when you connect the router to the power and uh, to your cable modem and power it on, you'll be able to connect to the network that is printed in the user guide that comes with it. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, you'll want to open up a web browser and type in this web address, 192.168.1.1. That will bring you to this administration page. And uh, you get a lot of great options here. This is the main dashboard, and we can see our current network status, as, long, as well as our uh, wireless names, and also uh, a brief over, overview of the parental controls, guest access, and the network map. So let's check out the different options here. When we go into the network map, this provides a nice layout of all the different devices connected to your router. For example, here we can see that my MacBook is connected to the router currently. And if we had guest network set up, it would also display a separate map for that. Speaking of the guest network, you can set that up on this page. A guest network allows you to enable a secondary network that your family or friends can connect to. And that network is isolated from your main network. So they would not have access to your personal files or uh, other computers that are currently on your network. This router also comes with parental controls. Uh, for example, you can select a device and then you can select a certain schedule where that device is allowed to access the internet and you can also block specific sites as well that you would uh, not want that device to be able to access. Here on the media prioritization tab this allows you to give certain devices more priority over other ones. For example if a lot of people in my family are uh, streaming Netflix but I got work to be done I can uh, set my MacBook Air to have the highest priority. That way I'm assured that I can uh, connect to get my work done and then the network stream or the Netflix streaming would be a uh, secondary priority. The speed test tab uh, provides a standard speed test that you would get at like speedtest.net. I don't have Flash installed on this computer, so that option does not uh, show currently for me. The external storage allows you to connect a USB hard drive or flash drive to the router itself, and once that's connected, you can configure an FTP server or a media server, allowing you to access the photos, music, or video files that are on that USB device and share them through uh, different laptops and tablets that are on your network. Uh, further down the list here, we get more into the nitty-gritty of the router settings. For example, this gear icon provides us a basic overview of the different settings of the router, such as the network name, and also allows us to upgrade the firmware, to uh, which would contain bug fixes or new features. You'll want to check for updates on a regular basis. Uh, if you have a, a, an atypical network setup, you can uh, set up uh, different options here, but most people would not need to access these settings. The troubleshooting tab provides uh, different logs and uh, diagnostic functions. If you're having trouble with your network and uh, you need some uh, additional information, you can find them here. The Wi-Fi section allows you to configure the name of your Wi-Fi network and also the uh, password for the network. And then as well, you can select the channel and the uh, different security modes. Most of the time you'll want to leave these at the default settings, but you will probably want to change your network name and password to something that's uh, more easily remember, uh, memorable by your family. The, the Mac filtering tab allows you to uh, restrict what devices can connect to your network. You can specify the Mac addresses of those devices and only those devices would be allowed to access your network then. Wi-Fi protected setup um, works with compatible devices, so you only have to hit one button and type a code um, to uh, set up the Wi-Fi. Wireless scheduler allows you to turn off the Wi-Fi antennas at a certain time each day if you do uh, desire to do so. And then finally, the security setting here provides some uh, more techie security settings. Most people probably won't need to mess with these, but if you do a lot of online gaming and you're having trouble connecting um, to other peers while you're online, you may want to check out the DMZ and the apps and game settings because that will uh, give you some more flexibility in how you uh, connect your console to the internet. So that is a brief overview of the Linksys EA 7500's web interface. Overall, great router, great performance, and it provides a lot of different options that allows you to uh, configure the network just the way you want it. Thank you for watching.